There are few more days, until American astronauts once again, launch on an American rocket from American soil to the International Space Station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley will fly on SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft, lifting off on a Falcon 9 rocket at 4.33 p.m. EDT May 27, from Launch Complex 39A in Florida. This mission will validate SpaceX crew transportation system, including the launch pad, rocket and spacecraft. NASA has given SpaceX approval to proceed with final preparations for the first commercial crew mission with astronauts on board programmed on 27 May. SpaceX conducted its standard static fire test of the Falcon 9 first stage engines, they confirmed two hours later that the test was a success. On May 23, NASA and SpaceX will perform a dry dress rehearsal of launch preparations, including having Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley get into their pressure suits, travel to the launch pad and get into the Crew Dragon. NASA and SpaceX completed a flight readiness review. At the end of the review, agency leaders gave their approval to continue with plans for a May 27 launch of the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft on the Demo-2 mission, with NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley on board. NASA also said the review confirmed that the agency's partners in the International Space Station program had agreed to allow the Crew Dragon to dock with the station. That includes the Russian space agency Roscosmos. Lifting off from Launch Pad 39A, atop a Falcon 9 rocket, Crew Dragon will accelerate to approximately 17,000 miles per hour and put it on an intercept course, with the International Space Station. Once in orbit, in about 24 hours. Crew Dragon will be in position to rendezvous and dock with the space station. After successfully docking, Behnken and Hurley, will become members of the Expedition 63 crew. Crew Dragon being used for this flight test can stay in orbit about 110 days, but as NASA requirement, will be capable of staying in orbit for at least 210 days. Upon conclusion of the mission, Crew Dragon will autonomously undock, with the two astronauts on board, depart the space station and re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Upon splashdown in Atlantic in front of Florida coast, the crew will be picked up by SpaceX's GO Navigator recovery ship and returned to Cape Canaveral.